A thing you'll learn about working with Tim is that there's a very specific way to talk to him. He's not like other guys. It's like we thank God it's Friday, but what? What are you doing? You're making a mess of everything. I found it's best to approach with some sort of an offering, anything like, like fruit. Um, fruit usually works for me. Yeah, berries, grapes, sometimes nuts. If I prove to him that I've made a sacrifice, I can usually get him starting to talk. Like if I just, um, if I cut myself a little bit and like a little bit of blood comes out and he sees that, then he really, you know, he really perks up and that helps. Optimal Tim times are probably between four and six, you know, right after he's had his nap, right before he's had dinner. Don't talk to Tim before 10 a.m. Man. I found that out the hard way. You're going to want to avoid using any word on the no-no list. These are words that could trigger him and set him completely off. The word work, don't say that, or project, deadline, anything business-like uh, is on the no-no list. Oh yeah, the no-no list. Uh, the word Francis is on it for some reason. Uh, a yes-yes list. No, he doesn't have a, a yes, yes list, uh, but there are certain words that he likes. One time I said the word throne, and he thought I said bone, and his ears really perked up, so maybe try and talk about bones. Someone say bone? He'll let you pet him if you're nice, but be careful because he does bite. You'll know you're in if he lets you approach. Uh, he kind of does this smile. It's hard to describe. It's sort of like a, I smell something good that's cooking smile, but it isn't, it isn't that smile. I'm actually a really nice guy. Once you get to know me. TGIF, buddy. <laughs>